Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Trison Tisca Automation Tutorial. So this is our lesson two, where I'm going to teach you the navigation of the Tosca 16. So basically, in the Trison Tisca, what are all the different options that are available, and what are all the different ribbons that are available? And what are all the different panes that are available? I'm going to teach you how to navigate them and how to analyze your Tosca UI. Okay. And then we will start learning other automation concepts. Okay. So now for this session, we'll stick on to the navigation of the Tosca 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos thank you okay so with this lesson you will be able to steer the navigation and working panes in tosca and also you can recognize and manage key tosca sections and you'll learn how to save undo redo your work if you see on the screen, the default view of Tosca. So on the screen, you can see a default view of, view of Tosca. If you see far left, there is a section which is a navigation pane to keep the overview of your work. And then right side in the middle, there is a working pane where you will be working on some individual items of your work. And then you have another top ribbon where you have different sections, test cases, modules, requirements and execution, right? All these are our different sections. And also you have on top ribbon, there is home project view test cases menu, right? So you have that menu also. So basically, all these sections I'm going to explain you in this session. So now let's jump onto the system and see the navigation of your Tricentis Tosca. Okay, so this is my latest uh, Tricentis Tosca. Okay, so this has the Tosca has around four main sections. The first one is this is your left side pane, which is called as a navigation pane where you can see the overview of your work okay your overview of your work and the next one is this right side middle pane right this one this is called working pane where you will be managing your individual items okay on which you are working on so you'll be managing your work at individual item level okay so this is another pane and the next one is, if you see, these are the column headers for your working pane. Okay, so these column headers can be added or removed based on your requirement. Okay, how? You just need to right click on your column and click on column chooser and then you have these many different columns. Okay, let's assume I want to add a column called condition. You just need to double click on this. So this will add a new column here. If you want to remove this column, just you have to click on this condition and drag and drop when you see the cross mark. That will remove your column. Okay. And then there is another section, this one. These are all the different tabs that are available, right? These are the different sections that are available in Tosca. So what are all the main sections that are available in Tosca? One is test cases, modules, execution, requirements, test case design, issues, configurations, test planning, okay? But for us, I'm gonna concentrate on only first four different sections okay test cases modules execution and requirements test cases no let me first tell you what is modules okay the module section where you will be maintaining your test
technical stuff of your system under test what do you mean by that the modules where you will be storing your elements and the element locators of your system under test it's a kind of object repository but more advanced object repository when you compare to compare with other automation tools okay and then what is test cases so test cases where you will be managing your input values so basically the modules are your objects and object locators and the business logic and the test data that you will be supplying supplying and managing under test cases folder okay and also the flow of your test case will be managed under test cases and then what is execution so execution means where you will be able to execute your test cases and see the reports right so this is where you will be executing your test cases and then requirements section so this requirement section where you can manage your business requirements and tie your test cases and execution suits basically your test suites and your test cases you can map them to your corresponding requirements so that it gives you the traceability whenever you execute your test cases okay so basically you can track your entire project status what is the completed percentage what is the execution state what is the coverage of your requirements right you can manage all the requirements and then you can tie your test cases and execution test suites to your requirements okay so these four are the main modules that we are going to concentrate on these sessions okay hope you all understand the concepts let me also cover some more topics okay so how can you manage these sections how can you manage these sections so let's say if i want to bring requirements section okay to right side pane basically as a right side tab all you need to do is click on requirements drag and come to your middle of the pane so if you want to place on top as a requirement you can place here left you can place here bottom you can place here right if you want to place you can just drag and drop here see the requirement section is on the right side okay there is another way how can you open these sections if you go to sections you can just click on this execution you can simply open your section as a floating okay and also if you want to arrange these requirements or tabs you can just right click here either you can close this section or close all but this or you can float this section or currently new vertical tab group you can make it as right see it's a new vertical tab if i want to make it as move to the next tab group i can move to the next tab group right all these kind of so basically you can arrange your sections in this manner drag and drop also you can do okay and there is if you want to create these sections on your own you just need to go to your project on top ribbon right under project right click and then create a component folder right project and then under this project component folder you can again create your own modules folder and then you can create your test case folder execution folder requirements folder right so this way you can create your own sections also okay and then hope i think i have covered okay let me also tell you one more thing so if you see on top here right this is to save your workspace whatever the work you do you are doing right and this is to undo your work and this is to redo your work so undo and redo works only 
if you don't save your work right undo and redo can be used if you have not saved your work once you save your work you cannot use your undo and redo sections on top i am showing okay hope you all understand the concepts of how to navigate in your latest tasca 16 version okay how can you navigate to with within the different panes how can you navigate uh, different uh, sections how can you navigate your top ribbon how can you navigate to perform undo and redo and save okay hope you all understand these concepts if you have any queries uh, you can leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the concepts of navigation of tricentis tosca 16 version so if you have any queries please leave your comments in the comment box i'll try to respond please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you